We've been talking about mineral deficiency, especially magnesium. Today, I want to show you this supplement, RU21, and these original lab research papers about hangovers and the newest science on hangovers. So here's a supplement, RU21. I was just talking about this with a friend of mine last night. He's a professional consultant. RU21 says, for consumers of alcohol, I don't have this, I don't get drunk, but I know a lot of people that do, and this actually works. It's got vitamin C, so an antioxidant. It's got B2, B6, glutamic acid, and cysteine, so that's an amino acid, a couple B vitamins, a couple amino acids. Then it's got succinic acid, fumaric, fumaric acid, and alpha lipoic acid. So I'll ex let me explain what the, why those things are all related and how this works. So when you have a hangover, when you drink a lot of alcohol, there's three major health dysfunctions that occur. And by the way, when you're younger, you can overcome these problems better. But as you grow older, you're, you're more sensitive to these toxic problems. So the first thing is stomach acid. So alcohol can go right through your stomach lining and into your blood rather than going down through your intestine. And so it can alter, it can harm your stomach lining and alter your hydrochloric acid, your stomach acid production. So that's one thing. Number two is glutamic acid. Your, this amino acid, glutamic acid, alcohol inhibits the production of glutamic acid. So you have less of it. So it messes up your sleep. But where the hangover comes in is then your body tries to produce more glutamic acid and you, you actually end up producing too much glutamic acid. And that gives you this groggy feeling, this bad feeling. But thirdly, with a hangover, and most importantly, you have to understand how a hangover works. So when you have alcohol, your liver detoxes it by turning it into acid aldehyde, acid aldehyde, excuse me, acid aldehyde. So it uses alcohol dehydrogenase, to turn, an enzyme, to turn alcohol into acid aldehyde. And that's really toxic stuff. It's worse than alcohol, trust me. So you turn it into acid aldehyde, but then the acid aldehyde by acid aldehyde dehydrogenase and glutathione, remember that word, glutathione, acid aldehyde gets turned into vinegar, acetic acid basically. So a harmless substance. So alcohol, acid aldehyde, vinegar. And the enzyme, acid aldehyde dehydrogenase, uses glutathione to do that production, to, to, to transform this toxic compound into vinegar, something safe. And here's the problem. When it, when it comes to a hangover, you end up with you end up running out of glutathione, all right? And this is, glutathione is the antioxidant your body makes. It's the antioxidant. So you run out of glutathione and you end up with a buildup of this toxic acid aldehyde. It causes all kinds of problems. Let's look at the science research. 2009, in the Biomedical Research Journal, we've got a paper here. It's called Electrolyzed Reduced Water Inhibits Acute Ethanol-Induced Hangovers in rats, sprog dolly rats. So they start by saying electrolyzed reduced water. That's water that's actually created using electricity, using an anode and a cathode, like a battery, and you charge up the water. It gives it, a read, it, gives it an antioxidant potential, if you know what that means. It scavenges free radicals. That's good, healthy kind of water to get rid of free radicals. It acts like an antioxidant. So electrolyzed reduced water is widely used by people in East Asia for drinking purposes because of its therapeutic properties, including scavenging effects of reactive oxygen species. So they tested this on the rats. They gave them hangovers. They gave rats hangovers and tested this kind of this charged water. And acid aldehyde dehydrogenase related with oxidation of alcohol were significantly increased in liver tissue. So it increased this enzyme that converts this toxic acid aldehyde into vinegar. So that's good. So this water is actually helping the rats overcome their hangover. And it could help you too. Moreover, they say, oral administration, okay, through the water, of this water, this charged water, ERW they call it, electrolyzed reduced water, significantly activated non-enzymatic glutathione. So you're getting it from both directions. You're, in, you're enhancing your glutathione and you're enhancing the acid aldehyde dehydrogenase. So that's pretty, that's interesting. 
And I mean, this was a huge change. This was a five-fold enhancement of the acetaldehyde dehydrogenase. So that, that water, electrolyzed reduced water, works pretty well. Surprising. So 2010, in the Journal of Current Drug Abuse Reviews, got this paper called The Application of Minerals, Minerals in Managing Alcohol Hangover, a preliminary review. Let's bring it back to minerals. A lot of people talk about, yeah, you need your minerals when you have a hangover. And they are important. So first, it is considered that minerals are one of the important components and in influencing factors in antioxidant and anti-inflammatory systems. We've been talking about that. Anti-inflammation. Herein, we review some possible implications of various minerals such as selenium, zinc, copper, vanadium, iron, and magnesium according to suggested mechanisms and symptoms of alcohol hangover. All right, so what's their conclusion? We've got to go to the end. And their conclusion is there are some indirect evidences indicating that selenium, magnesium, zinc, chromium, and vanadium might give aid to relief to relieve constitutional cognitive and effective symptoms associated with alcohol hangover. So not really that convincing. That might, you know, it might help out. And yes, you should, you, you, you want to pay attention to your minerals when you're in this hangover situation. But I think more importantly, you want to focus on the glutathione and maybe even that supplement by the, from the KGB, developed by the KGB in Russia. And again, it's about the glutathione. I think that's a more powerful approach. And I have this final paper from 2017 in the Journal of Trace Elements in Medicine and Biology just to reinforce the magnesium thing. Low magnesium, this paper is called, low magnesium diet alters distribution of macro elements and trace elements in tissues and organs of rats. So essentially all they're showing here is when you have a decreased magnesium, the distribution in your body of the magnesium and all these other minerals changes. And that's how it impacts your liver, your antioxidant, your ability to create glutathione that's involved. So the, that's ultimately the most important aspect is glutathione. And you can supplement directly glutathione. You can actually buy it. You don't want to buy just regular glutathione. It's expensive, but you have to buy liposomal glutathione. Otherwise, it doesn't get into your body. Your body's not able to take it up. So that's an important thing. It's expensive, like I say. But a lot of times when I do DNA analysis for people, they have problems with their DNA, with their glutathione enzymes. They have problems making glutathione. So I have them supplement liposomal glutathione and it really makes an impact on a lot of people. So that's one approach, just straight up glutathione because that's the, one of the limiting factors when you have hangovers. Also, like I say, this other supplement from the Russians, RU21, Essentially, all you're doing there, again, is increasing your glutathione. That allows you to convert acetaldehyde, toxic acetaldehyde, into vinegar and diminish your hangover. 